so hello everyone in this session we are discussing the model question paper two solutions for computer organization and architecture so model question paper one solutions i have already provided to you you can refer our previous videos so we'll start with module one here so the first question is explain the operation of computer with the neat block diagram that is we need to be explaining the, all the basic operational concepts okay required in this uh, computer organization so this these are the basic operational concepts here okay so uh, we need to write few of the examples also here so refer this here again basic operational concepts so, and uh, write this block here for main main memory Okay, this consists of MAR memory address register and DR memory data register, program counter, instruction register, ALU and control unit. We need to explain all of them. See here, this is the definition for an instruction register here and refer it. Program counter. The other two registers which facilitate communication, these are known as MAR and MDR. Okay. MAR's work is that it holds the address of the location to be accessed and MDR's work is that it constrains the data to be written into a read or write cycles. So the next question is write a short note on basic performance equation. Okay. Or we can say that uh, and also clock rate. So this is a basic perf performance equation here. Very very important equation. T is equal to Ns by R where N, S and R are given as N is equal to actual number of interest instruction execution s is equal to average number of basic steps uh, r is equal to clock rate in cycles per second after that these are a few of the parameters again so next is a clock rate clock cycle or a processor clock so you can write these definitions and to execute one instruction in three basic steps are mainly in the processor clock are fetch decode and execute you need to write that the next is explain the bus structure architecture with neat diagram so bus structures write all of them the, the three of the buses are namely as address bus, data bus and control bus. There are three types of bus structure here. So explain all of them. Address bus is unidirectional and the data bus is bidirectional. Control bus is uh, uh, carries the control signals from, for the memory and input of devices. So this is your uh, basic bus structure. Okay. So single bus structure and I'll write all of these uh, parameters. So illustrate the instruction and sequencing with example. So few of the questions I have skipped it because I have not uh, uh, got the solutions for all of them. I have found it, uh, I have tried to find it but I have not get it, okay. So these are the question, uh, solutions which I have uh, uh, provided to you all, okay. So if there are few of the questions which I have not provided it, I will try to provide it to you as soon as possible, okay. So the next question is illustrate the instruction and sequencing with an example. Instructions and instruction sequencing again, write all of this. A uh, computer must have instructions that are capable of performing four types of operations. There are move, push, pop, and add or subtract, loop, in, out. These are all of them to write it. So register transfer notation. Write out the examples for that. Okay. The instruction format and all. All of them. Okay. So the next question is we need to define addressing modes and various types of addressing modes in the example. So define the addressing mode that is the various formats of reference representing an operand in an instruction uh, or location of an operand is called an addressing mode. Again, these are the types of addressing mode again. All the types we have discussed in the large model, large model paper as well, as well. You can refer it. Again, I'm just going to scroll it here. You can pause the video and refer it if you want. Okay. So the next question is define subroutine and parameter passing. Explain how to pass the parameter by value and by reference. Again, the subroutine again, it was there in the first model question paper again. I've discussed it to you. The same thing here again. So you can pause, and this is the parameter passing technique program. So the next question is what are assembler directives and explain any five assembler directives. This is a, a, another important question, okay. Assembler directives. So write the basic uh, definitions of an uh, assembler directives and types of assembler directives. The first type is reserve, uh, write that, then uh, equation, write that, data word directive, write this block and write all them. The fourth type is origin directive, write all them and fifth one is the end directive, that is the terminate, uh, termination directive. Okay, this uh, helps us to end the program in an assembly language. 
So the next question is explain shift and rotate operations with an example. So shift instructions again in shift instructions we have again two types of shift that is logical shift left and logical shift right and also we have one more additional type that is arithmetic shift. Okay. So what does this logical shift left do? This uh, shifts the bits or uh, bit values to the left left hand side here as you can see it here. A logical shift right here shifts the values to the right hand side that means we, uh, we need to mention here how many times we need to shift it here in the example they have mentioned hash hash 2 so we need to uh, shift twice that is shift right we need to do it two times and uh, that uh, comma r naught means we need to do it to the this uh, memory address location so next is the rotate instructions these are again the four kinds of rotate instruction here rotate left without carry rota rotate left with carry and rotate right without and with carry and uh, these are all of the operations that works under uh, these rotate operations you can uh, note it down here pause the video and refer it explain direct memory access techniques uh, and its importance again direct memory address all of the techniques and uh, all the parameters and importance read write signals and all Okay, next is define and interrupt and point out and explain various kinds of enabling and disabling interrupts. Again, this is a repeated question from the first model paper again. Okay, so here you can see that it's a basic block for interrupt. This is uh, the, the definition is given here. So all the main points of interrupt, enabling and disabling interrupts. Okay, these are the, these are the points you need to be knowing very well. And after that, these are the sequence of events involved in handling and inter interrupt request. Again, these points are very important again. So yeah, these, these were all about uh, model 1 and model 2. So now let's uh, see model 3, 4 and 5 solutions. So these are the solutions for model 3, 4 and 5. So the 5A five, five question is not there. I have not got it for you all. I did not get it. So the first 5B, let's see the 5B question. That is explain the internal organization of 1 mega, one megabit dynamic uh, memory chip with a neat diagram. Okay, internal organization. So this is again a very important question, you need to be knowing this. So the next question is explain the magnetic disk with principal and need diagram. So again the magnetic disk part, you need to be knowing this. Uh, it's repeated again. So the next question is explain the single bus organization with the need diagram. So the single bus organization again, I have uh, told it to you all in the first model video itself. If you have referred my videos, you need to be knowing that as well. So this is an internal processor bus for the single bus organization here. It consists of program counter, memory address register, data register, MUX, arithmetic logic unit and all the other parameters, instruction register here. And all the main points, advantages as well as disadvantages. So write the steps involved in the execution of an instruction. Execution of a complete instruction, these are the steps involved here. You need to write it down. So explain complete processor with the need diagram complete processor all the explanations and uh, the block for the complete processor very important one you need to be doing this so now the next question is explain the organization of micro program control unit with need diagram and show how to organize control unit for handling conditional branching so micro program control write all the uh, necessary points for this micro program control here and pause the video and refer it and this is the a basic block for the microprogram control. So that's all. So I have provided mostly, mostly with the model question paper two solutions. Few of the questions I have skipped it because I have not got the solutions for that. So I try to get the solutions for you all and uh, make a separate video of that as well. Till that you can refer these uh, solutions. Okay. So yeah, that's all. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, share it and uh, subscribe to the channel and keep for uh, the latest notifications. Okay, and please please uh, refer my videos and uh, the upcoming for the upcoming exam max as well we have created most of the videos and kept it in our channel you can refer our playlist as well and please like share subscribe and spread this channel to a huge number yeah so that's all all the best for the exams so refer these videos and uh, try to get good marks okay thank you